What is going on learners? Welcome to Learning Intelligence 19 and this week's episode is going to be really cool. I'm into the second term of the Artificial Intelligence Nano Degree on Udacity and this term is all about deep learning. So we're building projects using deep learning and right now I'm up to the first module and I'll show you what it's about. We look in here, the first project is Computer Vision Capstone, building a facial key point detection system and I'll show you that in a second. I'll show you an example of what it is. I've been through all of the initial classes here so this is what you get when you start so you've got to set up an anaconda environment for your computer set up some cloud computing on AWS really cool thing about the AI nano degree much like the deep learning nano degree you do get a hundred dollars worth of AWS credits a hundred US dollars that is that's really good to use Amazon web services such as EC2 GPUs which are really good for deep learning and so that's that's one thing sort of if you imagine the cost of the course you could essentially take a hundred dollars off of it because you get those AWS credits but then we go into here so we started off with intro to computer vision mimic me is a project an optional project I'll get onto that I'll show you what it's about in a second and then we did image representation and analysis image segmentation features and object recognition and now I'm up to the project I've hundred percent viewed it but I haven't completed the project and one really cool takeaway I took from the intro to computer vision class is that the basis of any AI system is that number one it can perceive its environment and number two it can make actions on its own will uh, based on those perceptions so if you think about it in a two-part phrase it's all imagine a self-driving car as an example so a self-driving car needs to use computer vision as well as other systems to perceive its environment and then it has to be able to take actions based on those perceptions. So that's a really, I think, cool way to introduce AI to, to someone if they're not familiar with what it is. And perceptions about environment can be anything in environment. If you imagine a voice recognition system, it has to be able to perceive sounds in its environment and then make actions on that. Two really important points, I think, in terms of describing what AI actually is. And now I'll show you something really cool is this facial key point system. Let me set this camera up. For now this piece of software is called Affdex Me, which is made by Affectiva. And I don't know if you can see, but in close here, it's got on on the side next to next to my face, it's got all these labels. It's got anger, joy, sadness, disgust, surprise, and fear. And on the on the right side here, all oh, the webcam is back to the front for me, it shows an emoji of what I'm feeling. So let's try this out. Wing face, and it's got tongue out, little smile. See if we can get it angry. Mm. <laughs> so that's really cool. And this is essentially what we're going to be building for the first capstone project in computer vision. So I'm really excited for that. If I can leave a link in the description so you can try out using this piece of software, I will. But if not, head over to the Affectiva webpage, which I'll leave a uh, dis link in the description. They're a startup using computer vision to detect emotion in faces, which I think is really cool. All right, guys, so we just finished part one of the computer vision capstone project, and I'm gonna get on to part two and part three later this week. So I'll show you here what I've done. I've essentially created just a document here, like a just a bare note, just a simple note, and gone through the project and just wrote down what's required for the setup, what's required for each different part, some links to the rubric, and then some option optional tasks that I can make my project stand out, and then a whole bunch of notes for, for each part. What I want to do with this this project or each of the projects in the the term two is to once I finish them, make a blog post or a video about it. So how a guide of how you can implement it yourself. That's what I'm taking extensive notes on this one and working through it as hard as I can and sort of writing down everything that I found out how to help me so you can work on these things as well. So stay tuned, that'll come out in the next few weeks. But if we look here, this, this project is all on computer vision and we started out right up the top just detecting a face in an image and then we detected the eyes of that face and then if we go down here, we detected a whole group of faces in a blurry image and then unblurred or, or denoiser the image and then redetected it so if you see up here in this one it's missing that face of the girl in the purple dress but then we took some of the noise out and made it a bit clearer not perfectly clear but clear enough so that you could detect that extra extra face and then I just finished off oh actually sorry then we did some edge detection so you see here we got a face there and then detected the edges of it cleaned up the edges so they were a bit cleaner and then we did, I learned how Google, so if you know, if you've ever used Google Maps in in-person view, you know how everyone's face is blurred out? Well, we did the equivalent of that. If you come down here, we go into this. So that is the original image. And then I learned how to, or I detected the face in it, and then I blurred out the face. 
So you see there, blurred out the face, but you can still see the rest of the image. I'm really excited, I'm really liking this project. I think the next stage, or the next part of it, let me just check, I'll, I'll fill you in. So the next stage is part two. So if you're training a convolutional neural network to detect facial key points, and then part three is putting parts one and two together. So I'll hit you up once I've done some more progress. I need a break from it. I'm gonna get something to eat. Oh, one more thing. Don't be afraid to reach out for help. Look at this. On the Udacity and the Slack channel, see I asked a question here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's 3.14 p.m. I got a response back by 3.18 p.m. And the same goes for the forums. If we come over here, where is it? I got a response back 29 minutes ago, and my question I only asked one hour ago. That's a note to self. If you're having a problem with something, don't be afraid to ask out. And that goes for you guys as well. If you need any help with anything, ask me. I'll do my best to help. Leave a comment below, and I'll try my best. Three quick things from today's coding adventures. So the main one is I'm still working through the computer vision project, aka to train a facial recognition system to detect facial key points. Ideally, what we want is some sort of outcome like this. See the blue dots there? And so what I'm doing, I'm building a... a convolutional neural network you can see the epochs here and the training output the losses there and I'm doing it in Keras where is it where's my implementation there it is there so starting off convolutional layer max pooling layer dropout layer however it's got some tweaking to do but I'm gonna save that for tomorrow because I'm gonna go work out and clear my brain and sort of let the subconscious do the work I've got my model pretty accurate but uh, I think I need a few more iterations before I get it perfect and ready for submission. This is how I'm tracking what I'm doing. So I've got iteration one, I put down the neural network architecture here, and then for each iteration, so iteration two, I use the same network as above, but I change to the Atom Optimizer. I'm just writing down and taking screenshots of the results, writing down the changes that I implement and taking note of what results and how it affects the results so I can update it better in the future. The second thing for today is I went over this lecture on deep learning with, with my brother, and I'll leave a link in the description. It's a deep learning lecture from the MIT Self-Driving Cars course, and it's, it introduces deep learning from the eyes of self-driving cars, so it's, I found it really valuable. I'll put a link in the description, and it's by Lex, who's also a wizard, so check his channel out. I mentioned him in last episode, Lex Friedman. And the third and final thing is, if we go here, playground.tensorflow.org. So this is where you can tinker with a neural network right here in the browser. You can just change the architectures. See, I've got mine running here. It's running almost 4,000 epochs, learning rates there, activation, regularization. Look at all this. You can add more layers, add hidden layers, etc., and it shows you what it outputs. I think that's a really cool visualization for how a neural network looks like in TensorFlow, what it's actually doing behind the scenes. That's it for today. It's really hot here. As you can see, I'm sweating just standing in my room. I'm gonna go to the gym and sweat a bit more. Apparently, 33% of the test miles driven in the MIT self-driving car course, test cars, which are all Teslas, are in autopilot. Check this out. And apparently that reflects the actual use case of Teslas on the road, and I'm not entirely sure how true that is. I tried tweeting Elon Musk to see if that was correct, but I didn't get a response. That's all right, I imagine Elon's a very busy guy. I've left a, left a note here of what I have to do next week just so I can, I can get on top of things. I've got a few questions to answer, I've got a few check boxes to answer, and I'll show you how far through it I am in the Trello board. This is how I keep track of all my projects. So we go down here, I've got a checklist of all the tasks I have to do. I've done up to step four, step five, I've probably done about 50% of step five, so create a con convolutional neural network to recognize facial key points. Probably done about 50% of that, I have to finish off that and then get through the rest of that. Guys, it has been a big week, from deep learning with self-driving cars, to artificial general intelligence, to building a facial key point detection system. I'm loving this. And next week's gonna be no different as I work towards finishing the first major project of artificial intelligence nanodegree term two, uh, building a facial key point detection system using a convolutional neural network, combining OpenCV and Keras to, to build a system that can, can recognize seven, I think it is, seven or so key points on a face. And stay tuned, in the future, once I finish the project, I'll release a video detailing the steps I took to do it, as well as I'll, I'll put out a blog post of how I work through the, the computer vision pipeline, but stay tuned for that. Subscribe to me on, on Medium or subscribe to my channel and, and you'll be the first to see those videos. 
and, and blog posts when they come out. But without any further ado, it's time to get out to some shout outs of the week. So these guys either commented on my videos, reached out to me via email or contacted me in one way or another. You can always do the same. My email is daniel at mrdburke.com. My Twitter account is at mrdburke. If you want to reach out to me, I'll respond to everything and I'll do my best to answer any questions you have or any advice you want. Or if you want to give me advice, feel free to reach out as well. I'd, I'd love to hear it from you. In no particular order, we have Carlos. So all the best with your AI nanodegree program and thank you for that Kaggle learning resource. I'll definitely be checking that out in the near future. Druv, I hope I'm pronouncing this name right, but thank you so much for your kind words and all the best with your machine learning nanodegree. Sreyas, again, I hope I'm pronouncing these names right, guys. And if I don't, I apologize, but thank you so much for your kind words and I'll definitely keep these videos going. I'm loving it so much. It's I, I love I love learning and I love sharing what I learn. So I'm, I'm gonna keep making them. Don't you worry about that. Justo, I hope the note-taking advice I gave in my deep learning nanodegree review video went well. It's worked for me, so hopefully it does the same for you. Karan, thank you for your consistent advice, your feedback, and your words of encouragement, plus that link to the deep reinforcement learning video. That's available on Lex Friedman's channel. The link's in the description. And that's a wrap for Learning Intelligence 19. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll be back next week with Learning Intelligence 20. Can you believe it? We're up to the 20s already. It's been an awesome journey so far, and I can't wait to see what's next. But as always, keep learning. Thank you.